and they dash off the line and usually or sometimes we see the dash off and then it leads to a slowdown but that's a pretty brisk start that's a good pace to start of this relay the key today is going to be making those clean exchanges a lot of the teams are going to try to position themselves near the front to help better those exchanges and on top of that there aren't any incidents that unfold at any time teams being on the ball to tag up because anything can happen if you go down get yourself right back in this race because there's only four teams out here that's going to be you know any potential mishaps happen you're still in the running Roussel right now on the front out of Dan Rose Mattia Antonioli was just there a moment ago but he tags in Thomas Natalini with Liu Xiaoan back there for the Chinese lungs. We'll be back to the starters now. Pretty clean through the opening time and through the roster. Out already a gold medal today. Ketro Seagal there as well. And Lin Xiaojun. We often see the most chaos in these races when there's passes heading into an exchange corner. And that's when the inside skaters that are coming out for an exchange have to reposition themselves. They have to work out their order in order to get out for that skater and that exchange. And that makes for some chaos. Largely chaos free so far, but as we know, watching as so many of these relays, once the match is struck, this race can really explode. There's a move with the Gladiators going up into second. That's Speckenhauser getting past Connect. And China there. Mighty push there to go from fourth into third for the lungs. On those exchanges, it's a great way to move up positionally without having to set up a big pass. But the Lions take it right back. The Lions took it back, and you very key to watch. They're coming around that last half lap. They had to pay attention to get the order right for the exchanges. That's right. Sandstorm to pump up the skaters here today. Always a good choice. Dubois going back to Pierre Gilles. Same skaters who started off. We're at the 3,000 meter marker here, so 27 laps to go. And now the rubber starting to hit the road, so to speak. Pierre Gilles will bring in Donjanu, Seagal, Vanet Wout, and Lynn the order right now. Canadian Ice Maples comfortable controlling this race from the front. No one's challenged that lead just yet. So watch when you say it, that's when things start to happen. Antonioli right behind Roussel. Alex Dubois, the Canadian veteran at the front. Natalini takes a look. The Gladiators hit the front. Chance to do the double. They took the women's relay yesterday. The Lions took the mixed relay earlier today. Second half, almost caught backwards there from the looks of things. Jordan Piaget did a great job building speed in that exchange to push William D'Angelo right to the front. Seagal now back in second. Lynn sitting in third. Vanatois will bring in Ross. These skaters will do roughly nine laps each, depending on how the order is sorted out. But they don't get a lot of the rest time. They're doing one and a half lap exchanges. They go back to the middle, but then they got to be preparing to go back on the track. And there we see and Liu Xiaoang moving into second. Sun Long started the move. Liu Xiaoang finished the move. Dubois to Pierre Gilles, the Canadians still keeping the wolves at bay. Not the German wolves, the wolves in this race. The three trying to chase them down. 14 laps to go. This is where the action starts to really happen. Don Genu in front, Lin Xiaojun taking a look inside, outside. 
of a bob and weave. On the exchange is there, move not yet. Felix Roussel getting the two crossovers in, really attacking out. Look at that wide speed track. He's building it out here, trying to create a gap. Sun Long now forced to chase. The gap has opened up. Dubois with the lead. Lin Xiaolong. Dubois is flying out here. And what you want to do, they're creating some separation. They want the teams behind them to be battling it out for that second place. All gladiators, the gladiators go down. Jordan Pierre-Gil with the gap. Now it looks like things are closing up a little bit. That incident will be reviewed. Eight to go now. Don Genu. The gap comes down a little bit more, and he's trying to pad it back up. You want to keep pushing it here. You want to keep that gap between you and the other teams. Relieve some stress off your team going in the last two laps, but we've got a few more to go. Roussel, Sunlong closing it up. Five laps to go. Steven Dubois can fly. Down to the final few exchanges. It's Liu Xiaowang trying to close up on Dubois. Dubois added a few meters to the Canadian lead as they're inside four to go. Pierre Gilles. Tough exchange here between the Lions and the Longs. Looking for a pass, it wasn't there. They got a little bit of trouble there. That lost some speed for those teams, battling it out for second. That is the final exchange. Two to go with a lead like this. Good luck trying to catch William Donjanu. He had to dodge one of the lane markers there. That brought him down earlier. Not the problem this time. William Donjanu as the Ice Maples standing tall in Montreal. Fantastic relay here. The Ice Maples really separated themselves, but what a battle we were seeing unfold between the Dutch Lions and the Chinese Lungs. It's an incident marker to pay attention to on the board as well. We'll see what the officials are looking to review. That was dealing with the Gladiators going out, but the Ice Maples were well in front. It looks like that has now been cleared. You see the green dot up there. The results stand. Week one in Montreal ends with an Ice Maples victory.